right, you're all set. You're all done. Don't eat or drink anything for 30 minutes, okay? Okay, but Bye, why? see you in six months. Why do I have to wait 30 minutes to eat or drink anything? And why does it seem like only sometimes they say it? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to tell you why you sometimes have to wait 30 minutes before eating and drinking after your dental appointments. So there are two reasons. One, if you had a fluoride treatment, the gel, foam, or varnish, they will usually recommend that you wait at least 30 minutes before eating or drinking anything because you want the fluoride to do its job. You want the effects of the ingredients sitting on your teeth for at least 30 minutes so it works and doesn't get washed away. Right, you don't want to get the fluoride treatment, pay for the fluoride treatment just to drink water right after and wash away all the benefits of the fluoride treatment. If you did that, you might as well have just not gotten it in the first place because you're just wasting it, right? If you eat and drink too soon after. However, there is a difference between fluoride varnish and a fluoride gel or foam. Now for the fluoride gel or foam, the tray, you 100% need to wait at least 30 minutes to eat or drink after. Because like we said, food and drink will wash away the benefits. However, for the fluoride varnish, that's the one that's applied to the teeth with a small brush, almost like a paintbrush. Sometimes with varnish, it is okay to eat and drink right away after, however, they still will recommend you do not eat or drink anything sticky or crunchy or hot. And they might even say you shouldn't have any of those things for like six hours because sticky, crunchy, and hot tends to wipe off or melt away the varnish. Again, taking away the benefits. Absolutely no gum chewing after the varnish. But just drinking water after or eating a banana or something smooth like that right after, not even waiting the 30 minutes after the varnish, that's technically fine because the varnish is super viscous and sticks to the teeth much better and longer than the foam or the gel trays. So it just depends on whether or not you had a fluoride treatment and which type of fluoride treatment you had. And why do some people get fluoride and some don't? So fluoride treatments lower the risk of cavities. They help combat tooth sensitivity. They help remineralize weak teeth and reduce the extent of dental treatment that you need in the future. So if you're cavity prone, fluoride is mostly meant to prevent cavities before they start. But it can also help people with tooth sensitivity, especially the varnish. So anyone can benefit from getting a fluoride treatment, but of course, some people benefit from it more than others those who get cavities and those who have sensitive teeth and all kids. We always recommend kids get fluoride treatments because cavities in kids grow at a super fast pace. Cavities grow much faster in baby teeth than they do in adult teeth. So all kids benefit from fluoride treatments as well. But again, although most fluoride treatments are given to children, adults can benefit too, right? Like we were just saying, the cavity rate, especially if you have a high risk of tooth decay, cavities, or sensitivity. And the second reason why your dental provider might tell you to wait before eating anything after your dental appointment is if you got numb during your appointment, whether you had a deep cleaning or a filling or a crown or a root canal, whatever you had, if you got numb, if they numbed you up with local anesthetic until the numbness wears off, we usually recommend you don't eat or chew any foods because you can accidentally be biting your tongue or cheek repetitively without even knowing. And then once the numbness wears off, you'll be like, ah, what happened to my tongue? <laughs> you chewed it and you didn't know. So it's not like you can't eat or drink, but if you are numb, it is best to wait until after the numbness wears off to avoid either making a mess or biting your cheek and tongue raw. So those are the two reasons why your dental provider may have told you to wait before you eat and drink anything after your dental appointment. One is the fluoride treatments and two is if you are numb. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.